I V M. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to ask everyone for a quick favor. We're running a brand survey right now and would really appreciate it if you could let us know what you think about the advertising on IVM. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey and do let us know. As part of this, we'll be selecting 10 random participants and sending them some IVM swag. So do fill out those surveys. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashtin Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today in the hot seat, we have Rachna. Rachna asks... Hello, Ashton. It's always been a pleasure to hear you. Thank you for your incredible work for society. Recently, I've been hearing so many things about manifestation. And yes, due to some small incidences, saw them happening. My question is, at what extent should we believe in it? And is it true that it occurs only when your intentions and feelings are clean behind it? Ashton, according to me, my intentions behind manifestation are not to hurt anyone else's feelings. But the other side of the person may not think so. What can be done in such cases so that a much-awaited dream manifests with, of course, hard work? I'm eager to get your thoughts on it. Much gratitude for the habits that you're teaching us day by day. Good day to you and all the listeners. Lovely. So, Rachana, um, I don't know if you know this, but on our Awesome 180 YouTube channel, we recently did a visualization exercise. Right, So I told everybody to watch it every single day and follow along with it. And the reason why I do this is because of the power of visualization and manifestation. Now, manifestation by itself doesn't work. Manifestation works in the process of understanding what it is that you exactly want. Putting emotion behind what it is that you want. And then putting action behind what it is that you want. So these three steps are very, very important. Very often... We don't have clarity on what it is that we want. In this case, I'm guessing that that is the feeling. Because you are afraid that you're going to be hurting somebody else. What is the clarity here that you want? Do you know what it is that you want from life? Do you know what you want from life 5 years down the line? 10 years down the line? 15 years down the line? Is this person going to be part of that dream 5 years down the line? 10 years down the line? 15 years down the line? Is he part of the visualization? The important thing is to understand... What is the role this person is playing in your life? And of course, there will be people who are unhappy with the way that you grow, with the way that you change. That is bound to happen. It is a part of life. There will always be people who are unhappy. You can't please everyone. You're not Nutella or you're not peanut butter or you're not pizza. right? Everyone's not going to like you. There are going to be people who you will rub off the wrong way, who you will hurt in the process. It is absolutely... mm, I won't use the word acceptable, but it is bound to happen. So always understand this, that when you go forward, there are people in your life who will not be able to keep up with you. And unfortunately, this is true. As you are putting in the self-work, others will not put in that self-work. And as a result, others will not grow the way that you are growing. So what I would suggest is first gain clarity on what it is that you want. Then put emotion. Why do you want it? What is that deep emotional connect? What is that excitement that you can create for what it is that you're going to be doing? And like you said, if your intentions are pure, then what is it that you have to worry about? At the end of the day, the guilt that you will feel is only a creation of yours. This is very powerful. It's important for all of us to understand that the guilt that we feel is nothing but our own creation. Right? Because it is our own moral standard that we are holding ourselves to, which is the guilt that we feel. So from now onwards, observe what it is that you are feeling. Are you feeling guilty when you think about this person? Or hurting this person? If it is guilt, be clear. Communicate clearly. And the other way of thinking about it is, why are people even privy? Or why do they even know about what it is that you want to manifest? Manifest in secret. Dream in secret. Work in secret, emote in secret, and then watch and see the way that your world changes. Like I said, I'm a big, big believer in manifestation because it has done miraculous things in my life. Ever since I started thinking about it, working towards it, my life has not been the same. So I strongly urge everyone to think about it. You know, manifestation unfortunately gets this woo woo, very like, you know, out there kind of vibe. But it is not that. It is, like I said, knowing clearly what it is that you want, putting emotions behind what it is that you want, 
and finally acting upon what is that you want. If these three things don't happen, it ain't going to happen, yo. So think about it this way. Make manifestation a habit and you will see a dramatic change in your life. But don't let guilt sneak in. Don't let guilt sneak in. I'm Ashton Doctor, your habit coach. And if you want to come on the next Hot Seat episode, there's a link below in the description. Fill it up and send it to me. Now, please make it as detailed as possible so I know exactly where you're coming from and what it is that I can help you with. Rashna, I hope you like this episode. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashtin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website, awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called A-W-E-S-O-M-E 180. That's Awesome 180. Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast from Delhi Capitals, we have their manager Siddharth Basin and marketing head Vaibhav Dar discuss with Varun what Nai Delhi is all about and the life of players in the bio bubble. On Advertising is Dead, Varun talks to Masu Meenawala, luxury fashion influencer, about her focus on wanting to elevate women in business. On Simplified, Chuck, Tony, Narain and Shriket are once again joined by Bertie to talk about his love for vinyl records. On Terry Mere Raste, Kesho takes us to India's biggest man-made Lake Popal Tal. And on Smile India, Shifa tells us the story of Munisha from Mumbai who uses empty tetra packs to create durable furniture for schools. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our others for that matter, please do tell a friend. We really appreciate you spreading this. Word of mouth helps a lot. And finally, this week, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Cred, Bank of Baroda, Quarter, Coinswitch, Kuber, Slay Coffee, and Intel. We really appreciate the support. Namaste, this is Cyrus Brocha. I am part of the government cancel culture program to remove rubbish off all the different streams available. So what we have is all the collected rubbish we put together on our show. It's called Cyrus Says. It's on IVM Podcast. You have to watch it and listen to it. It's on our app. It's on our website. It's on the YouTube channel. It's on Facebook. There are many different ways. Don't bother me and ask me how. Uh, you have to find out. We talk to different personalities. Many of them are known. Some are just people we meet downstairs and invite them up for chai. But the point is, it's fun and it's very therapeutic. So please join in and listen to Cyrus Says.